Here we go again, yet another Steam video. What is it? The third time? The fourth time? Can't remember. I'm putting out this video because there seems to be some misinformation being spread concerning running Steam on the latest WinLater C mod. So what I'll be covering this time, how to install Steam, how to run Steam, some tips for downloading and running your games, and once again, how to run Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. All of this is painless and effortless, no old Steam needed, no modded Steam, no bad files, no booting into containers, except for that one time you need to install Steam. So let's dive in. The first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and open up the official Steam page. Just like me, you may not be able to download the PC version, so you'll want to switch to desktop mode and then tap on the Windows icon here. Open up WinLater CMod and create a x86-64 container. For now, we'll start off with the latest turnip, DXPK 2.4.1, you can always change this later if needed. I'll change the audio driver to Pulse Audio. I like my theme dark, and so should you. Wind components we'll leave alone. Environment variables we'll leave alone. Go to the Advanced tab and make sure Box64 version is set to 0.3.7 and the preset set to Performance. Startup selection we set to Normal. Everything else is default. Now, let's boot up the container and navigate to where you downloaded the Steam installer. English, next. I like as few clicks as possible, so I'll install it in the root of the C drive. Uncheck Run Steam and finish. Exit the container and open up the shortcuts menu. We need to edit the Steam shortcut. Check if all the settings are set according to how you set the container earlier. Now in the advanced tab you'll want to scroll all the way down to exec parameters. You need to insert a bunch of variables in here. I have written them down in the description and pinned comments of this video. Steam is still very finicky. You may have to reboot it a couple of times. It will also highly likely depend on your device capability. The initial loading may take a while. Be patient. Once the login screen appears, you can log in. The next loading phase may also take a while, and again, you may have to reboot it again if it takes too long. If it succeeds loading, everything will be loaded in and you can go ahead and do what you need to do. Now, if you own games on Steam, then it's highly likely you own a computer which means you are able to acquire your games easier and faster by the transfer feature instead of straight downloading your game. All you need is your PC and Steam powered on and connected on the same network as your mobile device. Your game also needs to be already installed on your PC. If these criteria are met, you simply tap install on Steam on your mobile device and instead of downloading it, it will be transferring the game. This method is way faster than downloading. For running games, most games won't run by tapping on the play button. Instead, you will need to run the game with the executable from their root folder. Now, you will notice that if you run Steam from the shortcuts menu, Wine File Manager won't be active. You can run it from the task manager like this. And from here you can navigate to your game and then run the game. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable at the moment. And if you don't want to do it this way, you might need to fall back to the old running Steam method, which is using the bat file within the container, which I already covered on a previous video. And lastly, running Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. For this game, you absolutely need Steam. This game has the Nuvo DRM and only through Steam it can be operated. On your Steam shortcut, you may run the game by using either System, Qualcomm Drivers or Turnip version 25.1.0, the XVK either 1.10.1 or 1.10.3. Everything else does not allow the game to boot for me, but you may try, results may vary from device to device. And then followed by these settings.
there's a Soviet guard post. There are bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. The Soviet soldier. A lot of them came from Central Asia before, but lately they've been using more and more Russians. Simple, really. There's less hesitation to pull the trigger if they're not fighting their own race. Morbid cynicism, but it gets results. That's humanity for you. zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll all security at that guard post is relatively light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm-up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. Sight, sound, keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. some place to drop them out of sight. Post captured. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. You're almost at the enemy outpost, Violo Village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Can you 
see the village from there? Use the binoculars to recon the place. Look at where the enemies are stationed. Look at their gear. Take it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. antenna. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Чего? Он выдавал себя за жителя кишлака. Но на самом деле был Хамидом. Хамида? Это пушка. Да!
outpost captured. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you next time.